Cheers and welcome my friends, I'm Honor Truck and we are playing uh, Crusader Kings 2. It's my turn in the YouTuber Succession series. Um, we've been pretty successful in the last couple of episodes. We created the Kingdom of Jerusalem. Um, it's held by a vice, um, Viceroy, which is a thing. And uh, soon my truce with the Emperor of the Aztecs will actually end, uh, which will allow me to go for this place and then create the Kingdom of Aquitaine. Um, because I'm currently over the vassal limit, and that is creating some problems for me. <laughs> um, you can pull 50,000. Um, do I have more retinues possible? Yeah, I do actually. So let's go for some more. I also have a fair amount of money. I just want to keep boosting the retinue because um, that is the last line of defense that we have. Um, if push comes to shove and we we have um, internal rebels and all that, I have um, the Axarch over here. Gave a kind succession in the Imperium Romanum. <laughs> That's what he wants, eh? Yeah, it's the Axarch of Bavaria and Italy. Uh, at the time I did this, it seemed a good idea, but now I, I'm kind of regretting it. Um, I mean, I could force him to actually give the Axarchy away. I would just not do it. Rebellious. No. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep that. That's not good. Um, that's really not good. Um, I would have to fight him. And I guess he would call in his brother um, from Greece. Yeah. Those two sons of mine, they're definitely creating problems. <laughs> um, yeah, I got enough money now that I can actually think about building up Tuscadum further. Uh, let's just go for the Cataphract training ground. That's fine, that's fine. Uh, any of the other places? I don't really want to build up the hospitals too much as long as I um, am not swimming in money. I'm going to leave that to my successor. That's fine, that's fine. Oh yeah, Nicomedea could actually use some more stuff. Let's go for training grounds. That's also going to increase the retinue um, cap. Dorian could go for some more training grounds. Increasing the retinue size. This place could go for some barracks. More training grounds. That's good. Training grounds over here. More training grounds. Okay, and that's that's good. So now we're building uh, something in almost all of them. Um, yeah, I guess I can just um, unpause now. I wouldn't have a problem with dying right now. I've been playing for a very long time. I think this is episode 20. <laughs> I mean, that is, stems also from the fact that I'm doing a heavy amount of micromanaging. I've been uh, working pretty hard to um, reform the Empire so that we have only vice royal, uh, vice royalties instead of um, hereditary titles. Um, that took up a great deal of my time. The roses that I had sent for have now been planted in my own gardens. Their beauty spreading joy to anybody who passes them. What a true marvel of God. Yeah, praise the community of St. Basil. Great. <laughs> Jaffa has converted to Orthodox. That's good. Um, I like that. This is still Sunni. What is that? Wallachia has declared Wallachian claim on the King of Poland. Okay, that's fair, I guess. Just a couple more months, then I can move on the Aztecs. Which I want, because I want Aquitaine. 15th of July, 79. And I've inherited Duchy of Valencia. Okay, that's fine. Over here, I guess. Belongs to Andalusia. What I'm gonna do is... I'm actually gonna give that to my Granada guy. Maybe he can... Maybe he can do some conquering here. So, grant the Vice Royalty, Duchy of Valencia. Oh, wait. What do you belong to? They should all go to him, though. Why is it only those two? County of Castellon and County of Valencia. Why not this one? What's happening? What's the problem?
Hmm. Count of Naxos. Count of Denier, Count of Lesbos. Okay, I screwed up. I screwed up. Count of Naxos. Really? And Count of Lesbos. Lesbos. Naxos. Okay. Why do I have you? He's my direct vassal, which is gonna piss off my son, because he I guess he wants control of them. Not really actually. I guess the other thing is his primary title. Hmm. I gave him that place. And now I'm ruining it. Duke Nicolaus the Fat. Hmm. Oh well. We're gonna give this guy the um, Duchy of Valencia Vice Royalty. It's fine. That's okay. Exact Jerolim the Holy has tried to revocate, revocate stuff. We have the Bulgarian Vault going on. It's January 79. Gotta go and pick up some speed. Because we still gotta go until July take this place I want it I want to get rid of some vassals please and thank you raiders have arrived to plunder in my lands yeah that's how it goes goodbye right nice let's put these guys away yeah my vassals are conquering east woods as good as they can. My protest raider Sergius Boilers has told me about a remarkable weaponsmith residing in Orvieto. He suggested that I invite the woman to my court to see her work for myself. She manages to impress me. I could order my own custom-made weapon. A fine idea. Let's see what we get. Uh, once progress... Protoss trader Sergius had assured me that the weaponsmith's craftsmanship left nothing to be desired. I received her in the throne room. She introduced herself as Mistress Anastasia and gestured towards her numerous assistants who all carried examples of her work. Does my emperor have anything special in mind? Um. <laughs> okay. We'll gain a bonus to command heavy foot troops, light foot troops, a lance, mounted troops. Swords may give more martial than other weapons. Personal combat skill and monthly prestige. Yeah, let's go with this. You can never go with, wrong with a good sword. Let's see. A sword, I see. An excellent choice, says Mistress Anastasia, and I calls forward the assistant creating three swords in her arms. I have three examples of different quality levels here. One must determine what one needs and how much one is willing to pay. However, they would all serve your highness well. What, 13,000 gold? <laughs> what? <laughs> Alright, I changed my mind. No, I really don't need that. Uh, my son already has uh, an okay sword. I mean, it's um, not a sword that it's going to increase his uh, combat skill, but I can't waste the money like that for this thing. I mean, that's just crazy. That's a crazy amount of money. Nope, thank you. It's fine. I don't need it. I'm not doing much personal combat anyways. April 79. The people are usurping stuff. And my truce is expiring. Just the 30 days left. And we have another, another person over here. You. He belongs to Lucifer's own. All right, then known demon worshipper. He belongs to a revolt. Yeah, we gotta burn him. There's no other way, really. <laughs> well, we we see surprisingly little of these Lucifer's own in my own Bavaria game with the monks and mystics DLC. I managed to take over the HRE in no time. Still threatening, ninety-four point three percent. Um, okay, young Niala has finished her education in stewardship. It seems she's learned all the basic skills required. Great. Young Julien 
has excelled in her studies. What is that? Wait. Oh yeah, no, vast limit. I, th I thought for a moment that was the man size, but that's fine, I guess. He has inherited the theme of Ancona. And he's, he's holding all these titles, the freak. He's just keeping them all for himself. Nasty bugger. I created a monster for my successor to deal with. <laughs> but yeah, I guess um, I'm actually gonna go after this guy now. Declare war. Um, holy war for... Um, what is that? The Gasconia. Right. So. Prepare for a holy war. Holy war for Gascon. Um, everyone else in the world is gonna join that um, that war because why not? Right? Um, but it'll allow me to create another kingdom um, level title, which is going to be good. Um, so let's go for Holy War for Gascon. Um, now I gotta collect my troops. How many troops am I going to get here? Okay, 8,500 is fair, I think. Um, I mean, he could provide much more. He's not going to. Pull the Serbian troops in there. Um, the Sicilian troops. We need them. Let's do that. We need the um, African troops in this. We definitely need the Greek troops. There's a revolt going on. Can't help you there, my son. Put these guys in. Um, Jerusalem has to pull its own weight. He's not. Well, he's not giving me any troops. Raise local leash levies. Yeah, no. Sixty-three ships. I guess maybe they just don't have enough. Okay then. Let's put you up there. Um, Syria could also provide some troops. These guys are at least providing 750. Why does he have no troops at all? That's odd. Um, let's pull some from Bulgaria. Yeah, that's enough. Um, Alania. Hmm. Eight troops, that's fine. Dorica is going to provide some troops. Um, I think that's about it. Um, Croatia could also provide troops. Actually providing a fair amount. Okay then, so let's select all of them. And let's have them all merge in Provence. I think that is a good place to start. Uh, maybe... Yeah, Provence. Why not? Let's all merge in Provence. Don't want to use my own troops for it. Or well, this should be fine. Everyone else in the world is like, Ooh, the Romans are doing something. Better join in. Makes no sense. Makes absolutely no sense. It's a holy war against the Aztecs, not something else. Okay, I'm gonna send these guys to go already. Can't wait for them to actually join forces. And we have another opposite. Um, Strategios, Georgios, Ironside. Yeah, burn the opposite. That's fine. Come on, people. Move it. As she's growing older, I can see that Irina could use some guidance. Who are you? Uh, my courtier. Yeah, learn on your own. Sorry. Can't do that. Can't waste my time on a courtier. She's showing much petty cruelty towards others. Show more ambition. I don't really want cruel people in my court. We lost Jutteborg. I don't want to lose this one. Uh, we have no people in there. Yeah, let's do something like that. Another 3,000. Gotta smush those guys. Come on. More ships. Um, I yeah, I'm gonna keep that fleet out for now at least. I'm gonna win this battle, no problem. What 
What are these guys? Rosello. Never heard of them. I think this is a retinue of the Toulousans. I won the Battle of Foix. Let's move in here. I just gotta siege uh, that whole place down. There's no way around it. Before the Aztec army actually shows up. Um, let's take that place down. Like ASAP. One, two, let's go. One, two, come on. I lost a crap ton of troops just now. And let's take it down even further. Very good. Um, let's join those guys. We're 40% towards winning. Um, okay. Since they don't want to fight, I'm just going to leave. There, there are the Franks. Traitorous bastards. I helped them. I defended them. And now they're coming into my land, killing my people. Because that's just the kind of assholes um, they are. Take that down. Stupid, really. To stop a holy war against the Aztecs. That's just the, the height of stupidity, to be quite honest. Okay, got that one. And now the Franks are actually moving against me. Because that's because they're so clever. They're so clever. Stupid Franks. Um, right, I guess I gotta I guess I gotta pull my own liege levies here. I don't wanna pull in the retinue. Yeah, that's the retinue. Okay. Eighteen thousand normal troops. And I'm also going to pull the mercenaries. I could also bring a holy order to bear. Yeah, bring these guys out. I'm going to bring the ships back to Oviedo. And the mercenaries, we need the Varangian guard to join into this. Okay. Frank's attacking me because that's great. Received a request for additional funds from Mysticos Helen. She's worried that it's too easy for spies to make their way inside your home and wants to take precautionary measures. Yeah, it can't be her it can't hurt to be safe. Why not? Siege of Fulham. Stupid Franks. We might have won this if not for the Franks and their interference. Fools. Fools. That's all I can say. Okay, well. Let's join up and let's bring those guys over here. He's gonna surrender. <laughs> okay, just in time. Just in time, actually. Just in time. I like it. Um, so bring you, bring you back. We don't need those those mercenaries anymore. We need to, we don't need those troops anymore. I gotta get rid of all those. Um, uh, Titles. Um, three titles can be created. Kingdom of Aquitaine. Um, can I pull the Gosconia? Yes, I can. Okay. I'm gonna take that. Right, so what I'm gonna do is I need people of my own line to take those places. Yeah, they all belong to me. Apparently, most of them actually. Um, yeah, we still got him. He's French and he's orthodox. I guess that's fair. Hmm. Right, so, um find characters. I want people of my own of my own great house, my dynasty. Men. Not people that are no, people that are not current uh, rulers, and I want them to be Greek, so my culture. Now, Adrianos, he's an heir, so we don't want him. I wish there was something that um, let you to um, filter out the heirs. That would be kind of good, I think. Anatolius, he's just a normal courtier. What's your father? Strategios. So, why? yeah, heir. Okay. Prince of Greece, that's my grandson. 
How many princes do you have? Oh, he has a lot. Um, Proto Bro has a lot of princes. So I th think that's fine. I think we're going to use these guys. So Andreas, you're going to have Armagnac and all its titles. Um, he's, he's the heir. Heir to the Duchy of Athens. You, you're gonna gain um, County of Ducks and all its titles. Um, your father again. And Berthios of Greece, you're gonna gain. Where is it? Marson? Yeah, Marson. Right. So I have that one. And then I'm going to make one of these guys the um, strategist of the place. So Vice Royalty, half the Duchy of Gascon. Right, that's good. And then what we're going to do is... Oh, we actually have a revolt over here. Aragonian revolt. Why? Aragonian civil war to increase council power. Yeah, that doesn't really impact us. Although they do belong to um, Aquitaine. But they're going to be um, not inside that inside that realm. Can I create Burgundy? No, I have way too few um, places in Burgundy. This all belongs to Aquitaine. I would have to go against the Franks. And compared to the Franks, I actually don't go against my fellow Christians. As long as there are other enemies around at least. Um, okay, let's create the title. Kingdom of Aquitaine. Let's make it happen. We're 56%. We are rather close there. Now, I'm going to give this to the person of Provence. I have the vice royalty of Aquitaine. Oh. Why does that not why does that not include Aragon? Them of Toulouse and Them of Gascogne. What about you though? Oh yeah, he belongs to Andalusia. Right. I think that's a good idea, sort of having all these areas under his command. Um, so grant the vice royalty, kingdom of Aquitaine, to him. Right. That's good. That's good. One of my goals checked. Instead of 33, of 31 vassals. Yeah, I need, I need this kingdom over here as well. Uh, when is my truce going to end? 85, 81. With Ayub the Holy. So just one more year. And I'll be able to make this happen I think. Um, Andalusia. 48%. Yeah. 48%. I mean I don't have a truce with him at all. Like. Right. I have no truce with him. Declare war. Oh yeah. I still have raised army levies. That's a bit of a problem. Okay, these guys are all gone. Let's get rid of the fleet. Um, I should also be able to buff my retinue a little bit further. Yeah, not quite enough for a cataphract um, retinue though. So that's a shame. Still, it should be enough to to take him on. Holy Wolf Cordoba maybe. What does belong to him? He's Mauritania, right? Um, Sultanate of Mauritania. Okay, the glowing parts. Hmm. Right, okay. That's not impossible. I mean, I should be able to take him out. Murcia, Cordoba. Hmm. I have another dangerous faction. 80%. What's happening here? Gave a kind succession. Is he really going to make a move, is the question. Jihad for Jerusalem. Really, a jihad against the Kafirs in the Exarchate of Jerusalem. He urges all righteous Sunni Muslims to take up arms. Allah is merciful. To the foul scatterbrained protobro, may Allah destroy your house. This is a formal declaration of war. Our armies shall meet on the field of battle. Right. Okay, then. Okay, then. That's going to be interesting. Oh, I can... 
He's the leader of a plot. And plot. Well, he's gonna do it though. I'm not gonna imprison him. I'm defending versus infidels as well, which increases his opinion of me. Um, yeah, I gotta bring my own troops here, but the thing is, he doesn't have anyone um, helping him, so that's that's not gonna end well at all. Okay. Sicily is not gonna bring a lot of troops. These guys are not bringing a lot of troops. I guess they lost a bunch. Um, definitely want the Holy Order again. The army of the Grand Master. And we also want the mercenaries again. The Varangian Guard. Just to be sure. Just to be sure. Bring these guys. Put them into the fleet. Send them over. Provence. How many troops can you bring? 2,000. Could be worse. Could be worse. So, move all these guys into Altobello. Um, you're not really able to bring many troops. Bring you over. Um, Greece should be able to provide a fair amount, though. A thousand? Really? I guess that's why I'm getting attacked, because I apparently depleted my forces. Nasty, to be quite honest. Very nasty. What does he want? He wants to join my war. Roman of Pest. Okay, yeah, why not? Join the war, if you so desire. I'm gonna collect my troops over here, and then we're gonna march towards the east. There are the um, Syrian troops. They're fighting Antioch. I'm not sure what's happening over there. What they think that they're doing. Okay, we've got 20k right now. These guys were delivered to the wrong harbor. I'm not going to use my own troops. I want to use only vassal troops. Doesn't make any sense to do anything else. Uh, my liege, I believe that one of your vassals can be discouraged from associating with conspirator factions. Yeah, I could actually pull away Protobro. Very good. Okay, join these guys. Um, Chief Timarkos, Shadow Fighter Pro. If any of these guys would die, I wouldn't cry too much. Um, let's move these guys to Jaffa or um, to Ascalon. And then we're going to give these guys a right thrashing. At least that's what I'm hoping. It's going to take a while until that ship is over there. Honored Emperor, thank you for reminding me of my duties. Um, you're right, of course. For the foreseeable future, you have promised me not to support factions conspiring against you. There's litter and feathers all over the place, and when you enter the dining hall, you see a huge pelican standing on the table. When Mysticus Helene sees my streaming, steaming face, um, she tries to calm me down, introducing me to the new pelican guard. It bit me! Get rid of it! Am I wounded? No, I'm not. Okay, I'm 64 now. Wouldn't mind dying. He's gonna die at some point. He's one-eyed and one-handed. <laughs> Jackpot! <laughs> I mean, he's also fighting all the time, so... I guess that's a thing. They are the ships delivering our um, defenders. Wait here. Yeah, now we can go into the harbor. All right, we've got 23k. Um, we've got Chief, we've got Leontinos. Got to wait until they got better morale, though. Otherwise, we're going to get our butt kicked. I don't want them to siege anything down in the area, though. But the morale is quickly going to improve. It was actually a considerable exploit prior to this. Um, 
where you could move troops with 100% morale from A to B. That way I won a Denmark campaign. I inherited the Kingdom of Wallachia, Duchy of Gulich from Despot Sergius of Wallachia. Okay. Um, the Duchy of Gulich. I think I'm gonna give that away again. So, half the Viceroyalty of Gulich. And half Wallachia as well. What? Oh, you have a you have a revolt. Um, yeah, that's fine though. Have that. That's fine. I haven't really pulled all my vassals in either. Yeah, let's see what what this battle brings. We're starting strong. Looks like the center is gonna fall apart. We have three very even um, columns. Got a new doge in Venice. Yeah, they're getting their butt kicked. And I inherited the Kingdom of Africa from Despot Timotheus the Hunter. He's no longer an advisor. That is actually fairly nifty. Tripolitania, Dux Thomas the Wise. I think he might be um, best for this type of title. Although what I could also do is I could actually make this person Strategos of Cairo um, Viceroy. Because he already owns a strategic bunch of land. That would make it easier for me to summon my troops. Yeah, let's do that. Duchy of Tripolitania, Duchy of Cyrenaica, Duchy of Tunis. Let's do that. It's going to be a very happy man. How many troops can I pull from you? Another 1200, uh, 1,700 troops. That's fine. We're winning this battle, which I think is the most important here. AOE the Usurper has usurped the title Duchy of Perea's love. Okay. Title usurpation can't really be prevented. Okay, we won the Battle of Durum. These guys are moving into Negev. We're gonna try to catch these guys over here. And uh, with 3% towards winning. I wonder what we're gonna do to really win. Maybe siege down things. I definitely don't wanna commit more people um, to this cause than absolutely necessary. As he's growing old, I can see that Ice could use some guidance in some of my experience areas. He is my son. I'm, go I'm gonna get out of patience. I could also gain stress. I could make him diligent, actually. He's born in the purple. Let's try to do that. And we have an autosave here. These troops are running away. And I'm getting attrition like hell. Actually, might not be a bad idea to just siege this place down. There's not a lot of stuff happening in there. Just go ahead. I want a quick end to this war. Three, two, one. Let's go. Three, two, one. I hate my life. I'm depressed now. <laughs> oh yeah, we can catch this, this group. Let's move it. Come on, people. Take him out. And we have another apostate, just some random person. Okay, burn the apostate though. He's gonna die. Young Irina has finished education. She's now, she's now a scholarly theologian. That's fine. Take that place out. Take that place out. Take that place out. Okay. Uh, we're 47% towards winning. They're pulling more and more troops in though. I'm not too happy about this. And we've got to kill those guys. We have the 8th Aztec Orthodox Revolution, a uh, revolt on the Aztec person. Orthodox um, revolts are actually kind of nice. I can usurp a title. Kingdom of Bohemia. And we gain a special tithe. More importantly though, Kingdom of Bohemia would help me quite a bit. Because um, now I can create another Exarch. Um... Hmm, I also would like to usurp this, but as he still holds land within the de jure title, 
can't do that. That is going to Chief the Wise. I could just give that to him as well. He doesn't like me that much. Um, if I were to grant him another Vice Royalty, I mean, it's going to create problems, but at some point he's just going to die. He has an infection. He's amassing a lot of titles already. And this way, at least if he dies, all the titles are going to go um, towards us. If I, I mean, I could try to just break one of these guys out, but um, kind of reordering the whole area might help there. Yeah, I think I'll do that, actually. Yeah, have another vice royalty. You're going to gain the Kingdom of Bohemia and lower titles. And once he dies, um, we can actually give those to someone else. Okay, yeah, we're smushing the enemy here. They're joining, they're joining this battle like mad. These guys also uh, also want their beating. Just pursuing them. I guess they just joined when the battle was already over. Now they're getting their butt kicked. Holy crap, we're getting a lot of people in this battle. They actually started this jihad full knowing that I would get my butt kicked here. Interesting. I guess I gotta fight for my life. <laughs> Got 4,000 people over here. I mean, they're mostly directed towards Jerusalem. Mm, I'm actually tempted to actually bring my retinue over. I'm very tempted to do that. Because they have more and more troops coming towards us. Well, let them go for a little bit of attrition. I have to end the episode in any case. Um, I lost my counselor. I lost my marshal. So I guess I'm going to take him then. Leontius. Uh, we're gonna put him in charge over here. Um, where is he? Okay, you're forbidden from leading troops. and uh, You're gonna help train up troops in here so that I should theoretically be able to pull a crap ton of troops out of here. Yeah, we can pull 15,000 troops out of that one place. Uh, that's the power of having the marshal in there. And we're gonna gain even more um, as this moves. I think at the end We'll be able to pull about 20,000 troops out of that one um, out of that one holding, which is pretty good. Um, for now, though, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, please leave a uh, like. If you didn't, tell me why in the comments. And if I, uh, if you want to see more of my stuff, um, please consider subscribing. If you want to see more of the series, um, look at the playlist um, to see my successes. I have, I think, maybe one more video. We're already 64. I'm already getting pretty old, especially for medieval standards. Uh, we're depressed and we're stressed. Um, hopefully I can end this war. I would, um, wouldn't would like to leave this war to my successor. Because that could be nasty. But um, we'll see how it goes. I hope you join me next time. Thanks. Bye bye.